Hello guys, I've just got in from the Emirates Stadium, Arsenal 4, Tottenham 2, what an afternoon it was, what a game, I'm sure for the neutral, for the Arsenal fan, thoroughly enjoyable, especially in that second half, and what a massive win it is for the team, for the club, for Unai Emery, you know, I think he needed this, and the team needed this, for all the positive signs we've seen this season, for all the progress, we hadn't won a big marquee game, we lost to to City, to Chelsea, we drew with Liverpool, we saw some positive signs there, but they really bore fruit today. A massive win over Spurs, and probably one of the most enjoyable uh, Emirates Stadium's afternoons I can remember for some time. Genuinely, the atmosphere, the camaraderie among the fans, the relationship with the players, the whole place was buzzing. It was rocking, as Gary Neville said in his commentary, I've just watched some of the highlights back. And I had chills down my spine. Genuinely, when Arsenal got their second, third and fourth goals today, you know, I was sat in the 24th row, block six, and I ended up about a few rows from the front, from the pitch, because everyone was just bundling into each other, charging down the stairs, climbing over each other. It was amazing. It was up there with anything that I've experienced at that stadium. Uh, you know, we did a show on... on for Patreon subscribers to the Ask Blog Askcast called the Passcast Extra, we talked about that 2 1 win over Barcelona, that spine tingling feeling, the way the Emirates Stadium came to life that night. It was like that today. It really, really was. Perfect football occasion, the right weather, two teams who play decent stuff, so much electricity, so much oh, tension, and I just loved it. It really is all about Unai Emery for me today. Look, the players were fantastic. The fans created a great atmosphere. But Emery got so much right. I think he got a lot right in the starting eleven that he picked. If you look at our first 20 minutes. You know, the way that we came out of the blocks. The way we probably should have been in the clear in that first 20 minutes. But not only that. At half-time, having fallen behind some defensive mistakes. And a bit of bad luck with the refereeing. The way he changed it at half-time was just sensational. A double switch at half-time. You won't see that often in the Premier League. Getting Ramsey on, Lacazette on, taking off Mkhitaryan and Awobi, who I thought had both been decent. Changing the shape, going to two up top with Ramsey playing centrally, giving some support to Terrell and Shaka. It all just worked an absolute treat. Lacazette got his goal. Ramsey was involved heavily in everything we did going forward. I, I just can't pay enough credit to Emery for the changes that he made. Anyway, where, where to begin? I mean... Let me say, the one thing I'm not really going to talk about in this video is Meza Ozil. I don't see the point. Maybe he had a back strain. Maybe he didn't. It doesn't. Maybe he could have taken part in that victory. Maybe he wouldn't have been able to play with the intensity we played today. It doesn't matter. I want to talk about the players who were available and who did play. Um, it was a brilliant start. We flew out the blocks. I thought Kalasnach and Bellerin were very good going forward. And uh, I thought Iwobi was pretty decent in the first half too. Maybe should have scored, but was involved in most of what we did that was positive. We got a penalty for handball. Aubameyang tucked it away. He's got a fantastic record against Spurs. He did prior to joining us, and he's continuing that uh, since arriving in North London. So that's always going to be a positive. But then we didn't capitalise. We didn't take advantage of our dominance. Bellerin had that effort blocked. Iwobi, I mentioned. And we let Spurs back into the game. I think Leno will be disappointed with the fact that Eric Dyer's had a beat him at the near post. I think Socrates could maybe be disappointed by giving away the free kick a bit needlessly. Um, but that was a sloppy goal. Son then dived for the penalty, 2-1. Uh, look, Mike Dean clearly didn't want to be overshadowed by the officiating of the, the Tyson Fury fight. He managed to find a way to make a, a worse decision. Uh, and then we went in behind at half-time, and there was, in the last 20 minutes, we sort of lost what was good about our attacking play. Shaka was getting squeezed in the middle. We lacked a bit of creativity, so on came Ramsey, and I think he had a massive impact on this game. How professional he was, you know, his dedication, how much it clearly meant to him. We changed the shape, we went to two up top, and we gave them all sorts of trouble. Brilliant goal from Aubameyang for 2-2. What a fantastic strike. Not what you normally associate with him. Not a player who scores from that kind of range often. But he's done it. He did it at Cardiff. He's done it again today. Um, ten goals in the Premier League from now. The top scorer in the division. Hats off to him. I mean, he's really, really, really delivering value in terms of what he produces in the final third. 3-2. Lacazette. Look, he made a tremendous difference when he came on. It's playing off that right-hand side as a kind of wide forward. I mean, it was front two, but they were split front two. Deflection. 
came off Eric Dyer, couldn't happen to a nicer guy. Uh, and as for 4-2, Lucas Torreira, I mean, what a hit. He went through on goal. He had Lacazette square. He thought, no, no, this is about me. And I fancied him today. I fancied him to do something. He, he went close in the first half with a decent effort from range. But the way he took that goal, the way he celebrated it, I think he understands everything about what this derby means. What a tremendous impact he's had. And I was just over the moon for the team. You know, the fans stayed in the ground afterwards singing uh, Sweet Caroline, serenading the team, saluting their performance. I need to mention Rob Holding, who I thought had a brilliant game. You know, he covered for Kolasinac at times. He had to because Kolasinac was bombing on, bombing on, bombing on. Holding was great on the ball. When Shaka was, you know, not an outlet for passing, I thought Holding was. Uh, I've spoken about... Uh, Torreira's impact, Genduzi was great coming off the bench, Ramsey, Lacazette, Aubameyang and Wobi I did think was positive in the first half, Mkhitaryan worked hard even though it wasn't really his game, just a fantastic win and we go to Manchester United buoyed by this and let's take this form, let's take this performance to Old Trafford and let's make Mourinho pay, I think uh, it's about time. By the way I moved out of the flat that had all the wonky pictures in it, I've now got the wonky lampshade. Maybe it's lucky I'll have to keep it like that. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Um, Ask us listeners. I'll speak to you tomorrow for now. Bye-bye.